Hey, Tina. Hey, Tina. What, hey, Tina. What, what, hey, Tina. What, what, Where what? are you going? Joe Pa. Jimmy! Hey. I've got a really, really important question. It's super serious. I really need help with this. I want you to buy me Transformers. <laughs> when a man and a woman love each other very much. I was going to say they have booster shots at the health department. God dang it, guys. What should I buy in Japan? <laughs> I answered this question. Wow, Dan. It was like you knew what she was going to ask. I know. Amazing. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be in Japan, and yeah. you're wanting us to make you a buy list? Well, yes. I you have no poor soul. Okay. <laughs> you poor unfortunate soul. What should I spend my money well, on? Well, I should obviously list. go to Disney World. For example, we're talking about like this amazing shirt right here. This came from Tokyo Tower. And yes, and actually, we will be going to the Tokyo Tower Halloween event, so I will be buying. You will buy this shirt, except we'll say like a different year, and this hat that has the authentic link. Well, that, that I can get here. I'm more <laughs> concerned with what do you guys think I should buy. How did you even buy that in Japan? Because. All the shirts in Japan, even though they're like extra, extra, extra large, are so tiny. Well, you notice this is kind of, kind of scrunching <laughs> like, the pecs. How did you? <laughs> how did I squeeze well, did you, in this? Is that like a super extra large? This is triple extra large, <laughs> and I'm about to lactate and squeeze this. So <laughs> <laughs> well, the, so the, that's the same question I have for you because people who are going to Japan. Yeah. Is there anything you want me to pick up? It's like there is nothing I can think of that I can't just more easily just buy it's online. Just more expensive. It's cheaper. Well, it's, it's more expensive. Like, for example, I had a bunch of games that I ordered, like Rockman X2 that so only had a physical copy. That's on my release. list. I told Dina already. You know, Rockman X2 was only released on the Switch in a physical copy in Japan. I went ahead and ordered it from Amazon Japan, but it cost like 20 bucks to ship the silly thing here. Yeah. So if I had just said, hey, Tina, just put this in your bag. Yeah, think it's that cheaper big. for me. But like, it's a pain in the ass for Tina. It's not break. necessarily. Okay, where's that Dinobot? Dude, <laughs> that as, soon like as, somebody, as soon as somebody says, hey, do you need any, you don't even need to finish that statement or that question. Yes, I have a list. <laughs> Let me show you. You always have a running list. Because, I mean, if you didn't mean it, then you wouldn't have asked. All right. I just assume <laughs> Tina is going to go 30 miles out of her way to go to this, this I may special. I may or may not. So, so your daughters have specifically oh, asked yes, me daughters. for Pokemon. So Pokemon has re-released the plushies. The all 151 oh, of the original Pokemon are now available. Yeah. But they plushies. asked me for ones that you can easily Yeah, and I here. got on them. I'm like, no, you should ask for stupid shit like Ditto and stuff that nobody wants, <laughs> like the I magnet one. I um, heard, so I heard you like Mudkips. <laughs> I, got, I got Mudkips See? in the Pokemon Center in Japan. So Shoot I will be like going somebody to right Pokemon now Center. is like, Rob's a damn fool. Mudkip is not one of the original 151. <laughs> kick him out of your show. We've tried several times. But as soon as she told me that, I was like, oh, well, shit, I'm going to save some money on shipping because I'm not going to pay for fucking Rockman right. X 1 and 2. For 20 minutes. Yeah, but uh, Tina's got limited space. It's true. No, in her no, no. Dude, so, the damn Switch things are like that. We, Switch games are teeny tiny. Yeah, sure. they're, they're teeny tiny. And this time, I'm going to focus less on figures. So I've got two empty suitcases basically by myself because my clothes, we basically take three outfits and we'll I'll buy clothes there because because it's Japanese clothes, I can fit into them. It's all my size. My wife has two suitcases, plus I have a carry-on. I have all this space. What should I fill my trunks with? So the last time you asked me to get stuff for you, <laughs> I went all over like Rapongi and Akihabara and all these places I'm trying to get you these figures. And I was able to get like one, but it was yeah. And you were like, hey man, I'm at a knockoff Chinese bootleg market. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was ten dollars, and I was like, offer him six. And, and, and he took it, so I brought you this awesome like one piece. It was thing. a one piece six. bootleg figure. As far as like things that I would buy while I'm in Japan are things that I know are out of print here. There is this wonderful Art of Saga Frontier book that mm -hmm. I saw somebody had in one of the posts and immediately I went to Facebook. Mm -hmm. or, uh, I'm sorry, Amazon and eBay and I'm looking at prices and it's like $150. But he talked about how at this one cafe it was 70 yen. 7,000. 70,000. So the equivalent is 70 bucks. I'm sorry. 7,000 7, yen. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was like, oh, cool. And you guys are going to be there. So Maddie's like, hey, I'll get you Maybe one if we go down there. Yeah. Uh, while we're there. So, I mean, obviously, 
things like that are, are what I was going to ask for. Things that are harder to find that you may find over there, especially if you go to the Mandarake or right. Super Potato, you know, used places. Because I don't care if my Brockman X1 and 2 are open. Because I'm going to open it. I know Rob would probably like his sealed, but I don't give a shit. Well, if it, it's it, cheaper use, then of course it, get it, it that way. It really depends, and you have to be careful. You talked about Mandarake, which is still like reasonably-ish price. But no, they are amazingly priced. They as far are as use, super, yeah. use yeah. figures yeah. are amazingly priced. So there. Super Potato and other places like this, there's so many foreigners, gaijin that come in, that their prices have gradually, gradually uh, increased. Because right. they yeah. know that, like, I'm going to go into Super Potato and be like, oh my god, it's this random thing, and give them way too much money for something that's like well, this. Back when we did our toy hunting episode, you mentioned that that, um, uh, what was the name of that store? The Hard Off, I think it's what the Book Off and the Hard Off are the ones I put. The Hard Off is the one that has the cheap video games, yes, right? That yes, was your secret yes. place to Hard go. Off and book, yes. uh, now, that episode aired a month ago, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so, where you should go, and I can't, it's hard for me to give you a list because, like, I have to see. Japan's, oh, I know where I should go. Well, that's but true. What should I buy? What should you buy? Like, for me, it's cool classic consoles that are almost impossible to get in the United States. Like, I've got a used 3DO. For less than a hundred bucks, I got a gold the, star Panasonic. Actually, that was one of them, right? 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 Those type of things are the things I like to get in Japan because they're inexpensive. They most of these things are region free, and they usually come in the box because in Japan, unlike America, where they don't take care of anything, they keep their box. Everything smells nice, it's in good shape. Mm -hmm. So for me, I would want you to go to oh, like yeah, a hard off. Oh yeah, and it's like, They'll discount it yeah, greatly, exactly. even in super potato. So I want you to go to like you know hard off or book off or what have you, and look at like Osis consoles and look at them and bring them back. Now they are a little bit bigger, but. If you have the space, that's probably be what I would look for. Old classic consoles. Yeah, mine are art books and there's some video game stuff. Cause figures, I think I've exceeded my limit. Uh, there's, yeah. there's a space right there. I mean, there are Optimus things. Legs. There are things like uh, masterpieces are cheaper over there. So like I was telling Dan, like this thing here with shipping. I mean, you're talking what is this? Two hundred and fifty dollars probably. It might as well be a billion dollars. <laughs> that's not even a real fucking number, uh, but Dan, if it's for kind of a point. What is the retail for this in Japan? Is it one ninety nine, or Amiyami had it on on a discounted price? I think it was like ten percent off. But if you find this used in Japan, something like this. Okay, so that's so that, that's actually brings up a quick question for me. What's the likelihood of finding stuff like this used? I will actually be going to Ami Ami. Ami Ami does sell at their physical store yeah. used inventory. They actually sell it online too, but it's jacked up um, because it's, you know, oh, you're shipping to... Now yeah. you're interested in this episode 20 minutes <laughs> You could find this yeah, if it's used in Japan. Because I will it's be a going newer to thing, Ami, Ami. you can absolutely find that. And it depends on how old it is, right? Something I don't know like if you this. find it in the box. Well, I don't think he cares about the box. Yeah. But <laughs> honestly, if you find something like this, and it's kind of new, this is the last masterpiece that was released, yeah. without the box, probably 25% off. There are stores that I've but been to. But that's still better with free shipping. Oh, sure. You know, than. There are stores that I've been to in Japan looking for stuff for him that is literally all. All toys, Voltron, Transformers, mm -hmm. everything. So something like that, I know exactly where I would go to find that. Do you? Not gonna or or when I was when I went to Japan, uh, you had asked me to look for the classics. That, what were they called? The Henke. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Optimus Prime. They had just dropped, and I was like, that was so easy to find because literally I walked into whatever their equivalent of Target is, and I'm like, oh, here they are. And I bought myself a Megatron, which had the different colors other mm -hmm. than the purple, crappy orange cap yeah, American yeah. colors. So you have asked for. Figures and comics, uh, or, or figures and art books is what you've asked for. You've and asked a video game. Transformers. I've asked for video games and consoles. Tina, what are you for yourself going to be buying while you're in Japan? I'm going to be hitting up the arcades and actually putting my non-existent skills into winning. Oh, you're going to do crane, crane games. games? Yeah, I'm totally going to do <laughs> crane games. This is what I'm going to spend my money on, crane games, which I'm going to win probably nothing. And I am going to get a whole lot of Gachapon and Blind Box. Gachapon. I will say that when we went, I was really quiet about telling people that I was going. Because I have several friends that are like <laughs> me, that are like, here's a list, you can choose five of these thousand items to get me while you're there. Because I think I told you, I told Rob I was going, um, This was I, I didn't know you back then, but I kept that really, really quiet. <laughs> And because I, you, like, cause you I, knew how you would be. Well, because I know how my friends are, and I don't expect half of them to pay me back. And I, <laughs> you know, I don't have unlimited funds. Right. Uh, I'll pay and that is the you thing. Whatever like, you we buy. are we are paying you back. But I'm saying, like, I'm going to get you guys something 
that I choose. We're all gonna end up with cats. And then I'm gonna get a cat <laughs> or video game. Bear pajama. So you'll probably get gachapon things, but if you want Gatchapon's something awesome. yeah. in particular, let me know. For our viewers, I actually plan on bringing back some type of mystery prize that we can do at a giveaway at some point in time. Cool. This is funny. This episode will probably air when you're there, so you can watch it from there. And be like, like, how am I there, but I'm here in Japan? <laughs> and they'll be like, damn, I ain't bought Omar shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, spent, I spent all thousand dollars that I had on crane games. And crane games and stuff. <laughs> and right. Well, have fun. Crane. So there are only a few things that are limited to Japan that I want to buy. What do you want to buy from Japan that you can only get there? And leave a comment down below. I might just be bringing back something for our viewers. Please like, subscribe. Thanks. Dan, what does it feel like to be the only one in this group that has never been to Japan? Well, I feel like I don't know how to answer that question since I don't know what I'm missing other than- You are such a jerk! <laughs> I don't know how else to segue or introduce this episode. I mean, wow, man. Wow.